Disturbing death investigation in Prince William County. Police say someone shot and killed four adults inside of a home. This happened in Dale City, about 25 miles south of D.C. Katie Lusso is on Mansfield Court, just west of I-95, where police are trying to piece together exactly what happened here. This has really come as such a shock to so many people in this neighborhood. Many of them had been returning home from work, returning home from school when they learned that four people had been shot and killed inside a home just down the street from where we are standing. Friends and loved ones crowded Mansfield Court, where Monday afternoon police made a gruesome discovery. When they went inside, they found four adults that were deceased, uh, apparently from gunshot wounds. Prince William County Police Chief Peter Newsham says they were the only people inside the home on the 5200 block of Mansfield Court when his officers arrived. It's hard to say whether or not there was somebody in there that might have fled when the shooting began. Uh, all I can say is when we got there, when our officers got there, uh, they found the four folks that had been killed. But there was no one in addition to that in the home when they got there. But outside the home? Uh, they were able to stop a person of interest. This person does appear to have a domestic relationship uh, with somebody who lives in the home. It happened around 430 in the afternoon and a crowd quickly grew. I saw a lot of people and a lot of cops. Shavi had just returned home from school. His mom, Myra, from work. Set. Both were shocked to learn what had happened. You don't expect something like that to happen around your neighborhood. Because not a lot of stuff happens in this area. Police, meanwhile, say they have a lot of work ahead of them. Chase down everybody who made a call uh, and we'll talk to them and see if they have additional information that adds value. Now, police tell us they did recall cover a gun inside of the home and they believe that was the only weapon involved in all of this. They also tell us they believe this was an isolated incident and that there is no ongoing threat to the community. We will, of course, continue to bring you updates as we get them in Prince William County. I'm Katie Lusso, WUSA 9.